In this video, we're diving into a quick and effective solution for those annoying white spots on your Samsung TV screen. You'll be surprised at how simple it can be to fix this issue, and you don't need to be a tech expert to do it. Our easy-to-follow steps are perfect for anyone, offering a practical way to address this common problem. We'll kick things off with a basic technique that might be just what your TV needs. Ready to transform your TV back to its optimal display? Let's get into it and see how you can make those white spots disappear. Let's start with some basic steps. Cold boot your TV. Think of this as a full system reset. First, power down your TV and unplug it from the mains. Then find the power button, which is typically located under the Samsung logo. Press and hold this button for about 15 seconds. This step discharges any remaining power and clears the TV's temporary memory. Wait for about 30 minutes before plugging it back in and turning it on. This process can clear glitches affecting the display, including those pesky white spots. Change the HDMI cable socket. Display issues can also stem from a faulty HDMI connection. Inspect the HDMI cable for any visible damage. If it looks okay, try unplugging it and then plugging it back in firmly to ensure a good connection. Alternatively, try a different HDMI port on your TV, as sometimes the port itself can be the issue. If you're still experiencing problems, consider testing with a different HDMI cable. Update your TV's firmware. Keeping your TV's software up to date is crucial. Outdated firmware can cause various display issues, including white spots. To update, navigate to the Settings menu on your TV, select Support, and then choose Software Update. Make sure your TV has an active internet connection for this step. The TV will search for and install any available updates. Adjust picture settings. Sometimes just tweaking your TV's picture settings can resolve the issue. Experiment with different settings like color temperature, contrast, and brightness to see if it eliminates the white spots. Every TV is different, so there's no one-size-fits-all solution here. Factory reset. As a last resort in the software troubleshooting process, consider a factory reset. This will revert your TV to its original settings, erasing all your personalized configurations and downloaded apps. Navigate to Settings, then General and Privacy, and choose Reset. You'll need to enter your PIN, default is 40, to confirm the reset. Damaged Screen Panel If the TV's screen panel is damaged, it can also cause white spots. Unfortunately, if the screen panel is the issue, it often requires a complete screen replacement, which can be costly. Tcon Board or Other Component Issues The Tcon Board, responsible for controlling the screen, can sometimes be the culprit. Issues with other internal components can also lead to white spots. Component repair or replacement might be necessary. If these steps don't resolve the issue, it's time to explore a potential hardware problem. We're going to look at the backlight reflectors. But a word of caution, this will void your warranty. So, only proceed if your TV is out of warranty or if you're comfortable with this risk. For any internal repairs or technical checks, especially if you're not familiar with TV hardware, it's recommended to contact a professional technician. This ensures that your TV is handled properly and helps avoid any further damage or issues. With the back panel removed, we're now looking for the LED strips. These are what light up your TV screen. Over each LED, there's a small reflector lens. Sometimes, due to heat and wear, the glue holding these lenses fails and they drop off. This is what causes those white spots. First, find any loose reflector lenses inside the TV casing. They're tiny, circular, and usually found at the bottom of the TV case. Next, grab some clear epoxy. It's crucial to use epoxy as it can withstand the heat generated by the TV, unlike regular super glue. Apply a small dab of epoxy to the back of each reflector lens. Then, carefully reposition them over the corresponding LEDs. Let the epoxy set completely before you reassemble your TV. This might take a few hours, so be patient. That's it for this video. We hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tricks. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.